Have you ever dreamed of creating your own game from scratch? Well, 100 days ago, that's exactly what I said to do. This is my story, the story of building my dream farm video game. Hey everyone! For the past 100 days, I've been on an incredible adventure creating my own farming simulation game. But it's not just about farming, there's a whole world to explore. It all started with a vision, a relaxing farming experience with a cute pixel art style. I wanted players to feel the joy of raising animals, growing fruits and building a charming heaven. But I had no prior programming experience. So with a ton of enthusiasm and maybe a sprinkle of naivety, I dived headfirst into learning pixel art, animation and the Godot game engine. Figuring out the node system was a challenge, but seeing my sprites come alive on screen was incredibly rewarding. Let's be honest, learning a new skill comes with its fair share of bumps in the road. There were moments when getting the player character to move smoothly around the farm felt like an impossible task. Also to implement the save system after days of debugging. But the moments after finally make it works are pure gold. Fast forward a hundred days and what do we have? A farm coming to life. Like, I think everyone, I start to create a game where the player will be able to move around the screen. At this moment, I already was sure I would create a farming simulation game. Then, it was possible to planting and harvesting trees and bushes. With the help of a lot of tutorials and docs, I was able to create an inventory system with item which works with resources. One of the proudest moments was understanding Godot well enough to write my own functions without tutorials. It opened up a whole new world of possibilities. Now you can fill a collection book with your finds. The collection book will display all the items which you have already collected. You can cast a line and catch fish, clams and materials in the river and the ocean. And also with the help of machines you can speed up the processes in your garden. This is just the beginning, the ultimate goal is to complete the game and share it with the world. At last, I set up an item upgrading function, like you may know from MMORPGs, for machines and tools. You are able to upgrade them from level 1 to 10 with material. But in the meantime, the ideas keep Imagine a bustling marketplace where farmers can trade items or exciting adventures exploring caves together for gemstones and hidden treasures in the forest. The possibilities are endless. To all the aspiring game developers out there, stay motivated. The initial learning phase is exciting, but when challenges arise, Focus on the satisfaction of problem solving. When creating games become less a core and more like a fun hobby, that's when the magic happens. This project has been an incredible journey and I can't wait to see where it takes me. If you are interested in seeing more progress, be sure to subscribe, let me know in the comments what kind of farming adventures you'd like to see in the game.